you a feeling Said I all wrong thing just to come into you Listen up, listen up real close Our own music making you start to dance I said to him No one needs to worry now It's all downhill from here Just wait now what Welcome back y'all for Lincoln my name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. Today we're going to look at one from our old friends at Daisy. Literally speaking. Um, some of you, if you haven't uh, seen the video that I did with the Gamo Varmint, Daisy and Gamo are now the same people. This one, oddly enough, by the serial number, was June 2016. One month before all that happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it is the 1101WS. It is a brake barrel action, and it's a springer in a very true sense of the word. Fully adjustable sights, elevation, windage, simple knobs, easy to do. The front sight is dotted. It's ready to roll. It's kind of neat with this one. The safety. Notice there's nothing in the trigger. That is the safety. It's where the hammer would be, which to me would make sense. If I'm going to fire something that has a hammer, I'm going to pull a hammer back. If I'm not going to fire it, I'm going to put the hammer down. Maybe that didn't come out right. Anyway, it does have a little rubber butt stock on here. Like I said, it is a true spring air. Inside of here is a large spring. When you break the barrel down, you actually compress the spring down and when it releases, you know it. No shake, rattle, and roll. Which actually is kind of neat. You know, versus uh, a lot of the gas piston stuff. You know, the nitro pistons, you know, that uh, uh, Crossman or or the Benjamins, same people, or even some of the stuff from Gamo. They, uh, they're pretty smooth. Now this one, it's your favorite retailer or sporting goods store. It's gonna run you about a hundred bucks. It does come with a nitrogen gas filled four by 32 scope. Little mounts on here. a little dovetail recess that's in here which is where it would go 0.177 caliber only we got to shoot it yep I haven't had a whole lot of time to mess with it standard flat nose But uh, it actually shoots pretty good. It's uh, like I said when that when the main spring releases, it's, you can you can feel it. Now, no matter what position the safety is in, when you cock the barrel, it puts it on safe. So you don't have to think twice about that. All right, let's try a. Uh, Big target first. And when that spring lets go, you can, I mean, it's actually got a little bit of recoil on it. Because you can't, if you really grip this thing really hard, it'll tend to throw the shot off. So, you know, light touch on the front, which means that you get. No, recoil. Let's see if we can make one of the shatter blasts disappear. Uh. 
Alright. Yeah. But the blue chalk target. Let's try that. Puff of smoke, hearty high ho silver. Now, <laughs> this uh, this thing with the wood stock on here, this thing is about six and a half pounds. I mean, it's it's nowhere near as heavy as the Humerex Torque, which is way over eight and a half, but it's pretty hefty. So. A relatively young individual is probably going to have a hard time hanging on to it and it's going to take somebody with a little bit more arm strength to to really get it up there and be able to hang on it advertises 1100 feet per second with an alloy pellet so it's the same kind of advertisement that you'd find from from anybody else. They usually the high end stuff that they do. If you if you read the whole thing, it says with alloy, you know, pellets or you know, it's a thing, I guess. We will find out about those though. It's coming up pretty soon. Uh, shoot one of the spoons. See how much jump it's got. Still a little off. I'm gonna adjust that though. The wood stock, I like. It's a hard wood. And if I was a betting man, I would be willing to bet that more and more you're going to see the wood stock start to show up on stuff. You know, not necessarily the high-end, expensive, you know, whatever, but people like us like to have a good time in the backyard. Give me an option for a wood stock. I mean, I understand why you're using synthetic, you know, you can cut down on the weight, it makes it easier for the younger individuals and all that kind of stuff. And it really cuts down the cost instead of having to, you know, manufacture and, and get, you know, a hardwood and, you know, get it to where it looks like something. Give me an option. Maybe I want a hardwood stock. Maybe I want to buy something, enjoy it, be able to hand it down, have a little bit of wear on it, make it look like something. Hmm. Daisy Powerline 1101WS. We're going to run it through a battery of things. Got high hopes for it. Oh, before we're done, I'm hoping that all of you saw the Crossman Tumbler 1000 something I forgot to do that was brought to my attention now I know there's an issue with it I know there's an issue with the riflings what I didn't do take that little same red target and show you what a, a perfect hole should have looked like Grab this. This is the same target. Perfect hole. That was from where the crossman had it, where it was tumbling. 
if, if I would have saw that, would have been in good shape. This, that, warning sign. Sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, 1101WS from Daisy. Very nice. Till next time, my name is Charles. This has been Backyard Plinking.